Hi, this is Jay. Today we're going to talk about the listings plugin, which is on the left hand column of your website. I have it here over just for this video uh, for listings. So I click on listings. I like to create a blog post. The blog post looks kind of like, let's see if I got a sample over here to show you what it looks like. Open up in just a few minutes here, but I like putting in a blog post versus using this plugin. But you'll have to do whatever you think is best for your website. I'll show you what a blog post looks like for for a listing. Let's see, let's grab this one here. So when I write a blog post, it looks like this, where it has a title, it has a um, header description and this would come in from my IDX system this property is currently in escrow uh, it's a video that I made up I dropped that in bunch of photos here you'll be able to do the same thing on um, this plugin drop in a map and this custom form here comes from something called gravity forms it's a premium plugin it's $59 a month I make no money on selling gravity forms I guess maybe I could and then similar listings, I use Showcase IDX, so I took four similar listings in the neighborhood. You can do that by zip code or by bedrooms and bathrooms and drop them at the bottom of blog posts. And this was listed by Stephen Torres over at KW um, Carlsbad. It's a quick example of how I blog a listing versus using a, a plugin, but everybody is different here. So we're going to look at this plugin today. We go to listings, you had add new. And then here, I've done this correctly here. Let's, I would type in the address. So we're going to put in 52. Our address for this blog post is going to be right here. So I just type in the address of the listing. I wouldn't put just listed. Um, Newport Coast or just listed Huntington Harbor I'd put in the address and then I might put this one was an Oceanside this would be the title when I put the title in it's gonna appear over here in the um, in the SEO block here called rank math if you have the rank math plugin and your focus keyword today would be the address of the property Oops, learn how to copy and paste, I'd be doing great. So that drops in there, so hooray, I've done that correctly. And it tells me what to do to optimize it to have the opportunity to rank in the search engines. There's obviously no guarantee in life for anything. Uh, and then when I click Edit Snippet, I would put it right here, even though it did pull the title in. I always like to do this. I don't trust the, uh, the plugin. I'd rather do it myself. And then whatever the zip code is, here, let me pull it. Oh, I don't have it. And then for the permalink, which is the URL, I want to have this. As long as it's under 75 characters, I don't think Oceanside will fit in there. And then I would have a description of this listing. We're not ready for that just quite yet, but I would take this address, copy that. I'd go over to this little character here. This is the schema of the post. I click on that. I paste the address in. I'll come up with the description. I didn't enable that. So search engines can pick it up because people will speak into their phone an address or home for sale at XYZ. If you don't have this speakable thing, you're not going to make it in the search engines. You've got to be really up to the times of what's going on. Don't need any keywords here. Um, they don't count them as much as people what they would do is they would put in the address 17 times over thinking that's going to do something does absolutely positively nothing so you'd hit save so you've got those two if you're running an open house you'd simply click um, schedule uh, generator hit an event you type in your address here now you're going to be like realtor.com because you're going to plan an event for this house. You're going to go through, just put the title, the description, put the description in. You're going to schedule an open house offline. Name the, the event. Uh, I would call it, I have a different name for it, but we're going to call it open house like that. 
and then I'd put the URL to um, this block to this listing or to the IDX listing in my MLS. I'd fill out all the characteristics here in the address. Here in the country, that would be USA. <laughs> and then I would put, okay, let's see, it's my team. I would call it uh, Red Wagon Team. Dot com. That's what I'm going to using the Red Wagon team as. I put a, maybe a link not to a social website. You always want it to your website unless the social networks are paying you money. Try to keep the people on your website. Then uh, here's start, start date. So if I was doing an open house on Saturday the 14th, I put that in. Here, oops. Yeah. And then I wouldn't do it from one to four. For me, I would do it from 108 p.m. on the 14th to the 15th and on the 15th I would end it at 4 4 p.m. 408 oh, I don't think that came out correctly I think I should just start, uh, start date let's just put 108 on the 14th but always end them on an odd or weird number because more people will show up, they'll ask you about it, and that's just another talking point as a real estate agent to talk about it. I had a friend of mine, I did a, a big uh, event for her. We put a crazy number, she laughed at me, told me that it would never work. 70 people showed up, they all asked about the crazy number that we put on for the end date. So this would be the end date, which would be on the 15th. We would do it at, uh, we'll make it 4.09. People ask me what happens. So I got here at 4.10. I said, I'd be gone. Uh, there you go. Uh, again, offers, just put your contact page or you have a show and request page on your website, not on some off part, third party thing like listings to lead. Put them all here so they stay on your website. Otherwise, you could lose the client. Put the price of the property. This one is one million three ninety five. Currency is uh, USD. It's in stock. I'd like to have a hundred of them. <laughs> Inventory level is what? Uh, price is valid from today, which was January first. Why I'm working today, I don't know, but that's what I am. Workaholic today. I'm rated a five out of five. Don't need any pros and cons down here. Hit save to post. It appears here. So these things also appear in your pages and blog posts. Um, and then this here, I think it's just how it looks on social when someone shares it. So this featured image here would be different. Uh, we haven't got to that portion yet. That would be in the, the gear up here on listing open block. So we need a featured image. We click on that. And then this is the house let's see which one I did okay this is the house I hit the featured image that drops it down there uh, let's see we have a special I don't know I haven't looked at this uh, plug in a while they have all different kinds of templates so you could look at the luxury template the elegant classic will say for luxurious they know who's gonna watch this video Okay, uh, I always check this box here so the featured image doesn't appear in here. Why it does that? I still don't know. <laughs> still talking to the uh, developer, the theme design. Here you add all the characteristics just like you would a normal listing. It doesn't automatically import, even though it says import IDX listings. That goes to a different IDX program that I think is the worst on the market. I can't say it out loud, but you can ask, you can call me and ask me about it. Uh, I used it for five days and fired them. So anyway, here you fill out all the information. You can put the open house date and time down here as well. Uh, then you fill out more information. So this plugin here gives you all these different information. The more you fill it out, the better. Up in the description area here, we have a title. That's an H1 tag there. Then our next one is going to be a paragraph. Now I had done this previously, so I'm going to go scrape this in. Let's copy that real quick. Copy. Let's go back here. So what I did was I took the description. Now this is my friend's listing. So this is just for a sample for this video. 
um, he gave me permission to promote the listing and I did that generated a lot of views and and people for it so in here you rewrite your property description and every three sentences is a new paragraph so if you wanted down here to start something else you go in you pick a heading and put your oops you're invited to our open house and let's see I think I wrote up some previous content for that yep there you go I'm gonna grab that and we're gonna paste it right in here it says um, you're invited to our let's see I think we did this for the 14th and 15th I think it's January 2023 happy new year uh, mentioned that you saw it on balboaislandhouse.com which is the current website we're using and you'll be entered to a special um, drawing to win a prize I mean you can do anything you want to do you can, any kind of giveaway you want to give away all right you could add more on if you wanted to there's a little space bar there so now this is an h2 tag and this is your main h1 tag um, and then talks about the floor plan here so you uh, as a listing agent could talk more about the floor plan describe it more because you have more content than the MLS right here so I would do this the next thing I would do I'd fill out all this information here I think it's a let me see it's a three-car garage remember let me check real quick here uh, yeah, it is a three-car garage and I remember it had um, four bedrooms and three bathrooms and 2700 square feet 2714 uh, that's important I could type right today square feet it was in the city of Oceanside Oops. and this could be California and if I was really, really creative, what I could do is I could open up, uh, let's get a notepad here. This is like far advanced. I haven't done this in a long time. <laughs> so let me see if I can still do it here. So now you say it's in Oceanside. I'd write in this code, a uh, RF equals uh, that. Let me pause the video for a second. All right, so what I would do is I'd open up a notepad. I type in A space H R E F. I put in the page within my website. This one we're just using uh, my main real estate website, which is redwagonteam.com. Then I put another quote. Then I put a I don't know what you call it. We'll call it an arrow. And then I would type in Oceanside. And I'd put a, another backwards arrow, a slash, and another forward arrow. So that hyperlinks the word Oceanside. <laughs> and it would do, I know it's a little crazy, but then what I'd do is I'd copy it and I'd drop it right in here. So when it displays, it's hyperlinking the word Oceanside to a page I have on the website called Oceanside, which shows them Oceanside listings. It's just a little bit crazy, but uh, County of uh, San Diego, um, country is USA, zip code, I can't think of what the zip code is for this listing, hold on one second, my phone's ringing off the hook here, 92507, 92507, don't remember this subdivision for this property, let's see the address here. And I would go through all the steps now. Is it quick and easy? Can it be simplified? Have your assistant do it. Call for pricing. I want to look up all the details. It was built in 1994. Well, it's important to click on the right buttons here. Four. And then you fill out the rest of your information. Down here you put single family home. Home. 
Uh, it's important if I can spell right this morning. <laughs> I think I should go out for coffee. Okay, over here it's a big lot, 17,543. Oh, I did write. 17,543. Fill in as much information as you can possibly come up with. You can have a special overlay. We'll say uh, just listed. Uh, the photo gallery you could put in here. Uh, I'm not sure how many photos I still have of it. There's. I tried to get them at 600 by 600. Uh, for this example, we don't have that. That's a different thing. Let's put. Uh, let's see. These are all unrelated, so I'm <laughs> just picking a few photos here. That's crazy. All right, we'll input that into that section there. We'll see what it looks like in just a minute. You could embed a, a video, so you can go to YouTube, and I shot a video of it. And here I got the embed code. How did I do that? I went to share. Now on normal WordPress, you would just copy this line of code, but for this one, we're gonna embed it, I believe. Let's see, copy. Yep, here it is, it's an embed. So I drop it in there. Then here, what's different about this is it's using a map code. So we go over here to Google Maps, and what I did is I had searched for the address, I clicked on share, hit embed code, copy HTML, go back to the plugin. Now to find latitude and longitude, really important for this uh, plugin, you just open a tab, you have to Google uh, latitude. Latitude, longitude, there it is, goes by address. Copy the address, there's a little program somewhere here it's this one here it all makes a difference and helps you to stand out a little bit more than anybody else so let's see if it runs it today I mean, I'm doing it live here so it's not like I did it ahead of time all the humor is free this is a one-shot video I'm not going in to edit the video so hopefully it comes out perfect uh, it's taking its sweet time so once you get the latitude and longitude, we're going to make one up. That's 34.0123. And this will be minus 114.0925. There you go, 934. Put those in. If you have a special contact form, so if you're using Showcase IDX, you could just drop that in. It should be able to work. I don't have Showcase IDX running on this particular website, so I won't be able to do that here. You can add more features, more home summary, notes, schools. Schools are really cool. If you can add the schools in, a lot of agents don't do that. Disclaimer, use the standard disclaimer that the MLS and Board of Realtors want you to have. Then you pick a, a layout. I prefer a wide grip, a wide grip, what's a grip? I don't know. A wide page uh, layout. That's really interesting. Hopefully the auto comes out okay because I noticed that the plugin is bent now. Great. Okay. Let's see. So we're at the end. We've done everything possible. What else could we do here? Hmm. Let's see here. We've got this background layouts, font sizes, listing. I am the Balboa Island guy. Don't tell anyone. Our secret. Features. Okay, so we could add features like. You can even add more features. I don't know if we need to. Um, let's put air conditioning. Uh, putting green. Putting green. Uh, air conditioning. Conditioning. Uh, uh, mountain view. Mountain, mountain views, there you go. Property type, single family home, locations. Um, 
put beach, we're gonna put ocean side. Ocean ID. Hit enter. <clears throat> After you put it in, hit enter so it opens it up. Let's see, does it work? There we go. Ocean side, great sta status. I'm gonna put active. I know it's an escrow. We're gonna put it in pending right here. If it was not in pending, we put it as active. Go through all of this. You can hit uh, save draft. Always good to do that so it doesn't don't lose it. View preview. Now this is the luxury video, the luxury one. I'm not sure how it plays here. It's kind of a big picture details so this is the luxury template not always a fan of that one let's uh let's go down a ways haven't used it in a while let's go back to the uh, classic and see what the classic looks like classic it's got a picture of the house Got our, all of our details would be here. I did describe them all. Description here, details here. Not sure why this doesn't appear. Have to go in and edit that. Photos, uh, video, and virtual tour, map, and a contact form. Okay, let's uh, go over here and let's see what the elegant one looks like the elegant one has a big photo call for pricing you'd have to test them all and see which one you like the best call for pricing here's the details at least we can see it better I'm sure I could go ahead and hit the code up and make it look nicer photos you could have all the photos here people can look at virtual tour it's a crazy video I did contact form we got a contact form built in it's pretty cool all right you do that it's a lot of different things you do so I'm including the plugin in there in the um, website build and since it's a really a kind of a custom website build since we moved from a different platform instead of WordPress directly into it and there's a lot of things you could do to uh, display a listing um, let's go over here to status let's see what that does all the different listings the status could be right there your locations I think we added Oceanside, so we have Newport and Oceanside. Property types, so if you take a commercial listing, you can do that. If you had something called a patio, patio home, to add that, you would just type it in here, put patio home. Uh, if you had an image, you did add new property type, it would drop over here into your list. Features. Wow, well, I have lots of air conditioning features. We don't like this one, go, uh oh. Delete that one out. You have a list of features. You don't have to save anything. It automatically saves itself. Uh, I'm not thinking anything for settings. So we'll look really quick. Settings. We got California. We got a price. We got U.S. dollars. Um, number of posts on a listing page. Active. You can change the slug originally, or that's the. Um, that's like the URL thing or the um, permalink. I just leave it whatever the default is. Let's see, advanced. Uh, we don't have a capture form for this. Every form two, that must be the one I'm using. Browser key. A lot more you can do with it. You'll just have to explore it and see how you want to uh, use it. So. This one's in save format. So when you go back to your plugins, let me find them over here somewhere. Plugins.
It always takes longer when you're shooting a video. <laughs> I don't know why. So in plugins, we're not going to use agent press listings. They have not upgraded to the um, Glutenberg block method that you use on posts and pages. So we're using, uh, I'll down a little bit. Where is the uh, one we're using here? Okay, this uh, plugin is called Impress Listings. And this is the plugin right here. And then you'll find it in your left hand column right here under Listings, where you can add new, add it. I'd wire it all up. And then what I would do, if I was doing it, um, I would add a, a link to Showcase IDX and display the listing. But if you wanted, you know, really trick it out, like we just did in this example. Oops, and I probably use the, I don't like the luxury template, I use the classic template, but you'll have to explore it and decide what you want to use. And that's how you use the uh, Impress Listing plugin on your WordPress real estate website.